Okay, so we're gonna be going to the boat now. It is a masterpiece of the engineer Edgar Cardoso. It is the only bridge in the world on which if the train derailed, it would not fall into the river. This bridge has an arch that supports a rail deck 354 meters long. It was inaugurated in 1877 and its completion finished the rail link between South and North Portugal. This bridge was built by the Belgian firm Société de Villebroek to a design by the engineer Teofilo Seyrig. I think we're approaching the end of our trip so that goes like the beach or the seaside already so that's the end of Porto over there so we're now off to the wine tasting so it's also included in the price of the boat tour The pink rose porto, port, which is aged in steel barrels for nine years. Nine months. Nine months. <laughs> and the other one is? Three years. Three years. In ah, okay. French castle. Oh, yeah. French castle. It's nice. So this one is um, three years in French barrels, which is, I think, stronger in taste. Yeah, that one. This is much sweeter and it's much younger as well. But it's nice, very good. It's good. I think that's the characteristic of port anyway, it's very sweet. Yeah, it's strong. Mm. Yeah, very interesting. Okay, so that was our port wine tasting so that's from the Porto Cruz winery so we now have to find the chocolate museum is it chocolate museum and do the other tour from there so let's go yeah. so this is the history of the company it's a small museum so it tells us about the history of the company plus their products as well very interesting and also it includes another free glass of wine <laughs> we didn't realize that and actually the tour guide didn't even say that yeah we didn't know that it also has like another free glass of wine and even the tour guide didn't uh, mention that to us as well it was a good surprise Considering the price as well, it was very cheap considering it's only like 18 euros per person. For the, that was for the boat? For the boat. Plus the other? Plus the wine tasting from Porto Cruise. Cruise. And then, and then this um, chocolate so museum. So yeah, there was chocolate there. And yeah, chocolate. maybe it's have chocolate. Cacao. Uh, Del Mar Cacao. Something like that. So yeah, let's explore. So we just finished our tour of the museum. It's not a chocolate museum. <laughs> 
to show us about the history of the wine company and how it came about basically. So we're trying white port and red, which is this one. So this one is three years old. Yeah. Two. Two years seven. Three years old. And white and it has 19% alcohol. Also in oak barrel. And the other one is this one, which is red. And this one is seven years old. So this yeah. So quite a difference. Uh, that one has how many percent? Like 20%. Twenty percent. It's quite strong compared to the uh, rosé that we had earlier. I think it was only 18? 19. 19 for the rosé and 18 for the red earlier. But now the red is much stronger. It's much really good. I mean, they have that sweet taste to it so you don't really feel the alcohol. So the lady that was explaining to us about the the wine said that it's a bit dangerous. Not really like dangerous but like tricky because it's very sweet so you won't really you can just keep drinking without realizing that it has a high alcohol content. Alright, let me try yours. Bottles too. There's no explanation. Thank you. <laughs> so this one is more of the dessert wine. See the guys, babe. Dark chocolate. Oh yeah. And stuff like that. And this one is. I forget about it already. <laughs> but yeah. It tastes really good, but you have to drink it very slowly. It, it has like that aftertaste of like the alcohol, but then again it goes back to sweet. So it's sweet and then it has like the alcohol like thing to it and then it goes back to sweet again. So we're now here by the cathedral. We were here yesterday during our walking tour but we didn't really go inside because it was closed. So it, we had to climb up a few flights of stairs <laughs> right next to the cliff. So I'm so out of breath. So they charged to go inside, so three euros for adults and two euros for students and groups children under the age of 10 is free so. Okay, I guess that was it, the cathedral. I thought we're gonna be able to like go up the tower. Maybe we missed the entrance for the tower. Maybe. 
Airbnb. But it was quite good for, uh, value, three euros. Yeah. Yours was two euros because it was two euros. Yeah, it's very cheap. Compared to the other church, it was charging around seven, eight euros to go inside. But yeah, it looks very narrow inside though, because there's a lot of like pillars in between the pews. So it made it look narrow, but it is big inside. Okay, so this is the start of the tour. So we're in the first uh, winery cellar, and I think. So we are in Kalem. So we're just waiting for the tour guide to get our tickets and then we can proceed to go inside. Right. Next word, very much the I like the white one. Tastes like honey. Refreshing. So after the next, let's go. So the next winery that we're gonna go to is the Piano Porto. Apparently, they were only selling their grapes to the um, winery or sellers before deciding to make their own wine. How many percent? Uh, alcohol? 19, I want to okay. say. Yeah. <laughs> Let's try the bed. So this is milder than the one earlier. This, this tastes like concentrated Ribena. <laughs> What's the drink in Manchester? Uh, Vincent. Vinto. 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 The next cellar that we're gonna visit or winery that we're gonna visit is the Bas de Carvalho. Carvalho. It's also one of the oldest wine producer as well. So apparently they have like very elegant wine. So we'll be the judge of that. So let's go explore. I think I like that. I don't like that much very much. I like that one. That one is like caramel. So that one smells like caramel. So this is like in between Kalem and the piano. Okay, so that was the end of our port wine tour. It's a very good experience. I mean, at that last place, we have like three port wines that we have to taste. So we have the white port, and then we have the um, Towny Reserve. Towny Reserve, and then we have the late bottled vintage wine. This very interesting tour. It's very highly recommended. It's worth the price because we actually visited like three like port wineries as well and then um, they said a few wines port wines as well uh, included in the price so it's definitely worth the price worth trying the whole um, experience as well because not only do you get to visit the wine cellars but you also get like explanation of like different wines of the port wines and how they were made and like the history of the winery themselves so it's very informative and on that note I will end this video here we've been in that port house winery house for quite some time mm -hmm. so those port wine they were like 20 um, percent like each 20 percent content alcohol 
So it's very strong and we've been drinking since morning as well So if you like this video, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up Don't forget to follow me on Instagram which is Gawal underscore Chan and on my Facebook page which is Gawal underscore Travels Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell button so that you get notified whenever I upload the videos Once again, thank you for watching and see you on my next adventure Bye